Hello and uh, welcome to another installment of Bass Intros. Now today we're going to look at uh, the beginning of King Nothing by Metallica. Not really a very well-known Metallica song unless of course uh, you like the kind of rocky stuff which is it's off uh, the Load album. So uh, what I'll do is the usual, I'll play through it and then I'll break it apart. <laughs> simple and and all it is is E which is the open E string and then a chromatic from your D which is the fifth fret of the A string up to the E the seventh fret so five six seven that's the seventh fret of the A string okay so that's the first half very very easy and then it goes back to the E, open E, so instead of doing that again, it uh, does this, it goes to the D, the E, and then to the G, so like this. simple so that's the hammer on from the D to the E and then the sort of hammer on onto the the G which is the fifth fret of the D string okay so I'll do that that um, second um, bit again Repeats, that's twice, obviously. Um, so I'll, I'll start from the beginning and add those two bits together. Okay, very, very simple. And the, the um, right hand for that, which I'll show you now, is this. It's very, very simple. Very very straightforward. Um, I don't really want to go too much into too much detail. Obviously, you can stop and rewind that. But um, to be honest, it's what you feel comfortable with. Um, for me, it's usually the first finger on the open string, and then just use two fingers. I don't. It is too slow and too funky to use three fingers. I think I feel. So so that's what I would do. I'd do the. Um, first finger on the open E and then just alternate and just use two fingers so alternating your fingers and then adding in that adding in that rake for the after you've done the G rake down to the E so you get a nice E minor chord for about a split second. Um, okay, and now the second half, uh, which is quite funky, it adds the funky element to it. It's kind of like it makes it sound almost a little bit like a, sort of a, a funky disco, 70s kind of disco riff, um, which is um, B flat, sixth fret of the E string. Octave, eighth fret of the D string, down to the A. So that's your second and your fourth finger, first and your third finger. So if I add in that second half, and then it repeats. So I'll I'll do the whole thing again, and I'll do it I'll do it slowly for you this time. simple I hope that's uh, that helps and for those of you who don't know the song listen to it it's a good song um, it's a, a pretty cool 
little bass line. So I, I hope that helps. And it's just one of those funky little ones that you can learn. Um, you probably won't learn much out of it, but uh, usually when you play that kind of bass line, um, someone thinks, yeah, that's quite funky. That's cool. I like it. Which is what I thought. Anyway, uh, yeah, any comments uh, or things you don't understand, um, just uh, drop me a message or leave a comment, okay? Thanks, Sal.